بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ مائی ڈیئر سبسکرائبرز آئی ہوپ دیٹ یو آر آل ڈوئنگ ویل اینڈ گریٹ ان یور لائفز ویلکم ٹو مائی یوٹیوب چینل لرن بایولوجی ود ناز ان ٹوڈیز ٹاپک وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دا ٹائپ آف کوآڈینیشن اینڈ دا کمپوننٹس آف کوآڈینیٹڈ ایکشن فسٹ آف آل وی مسٹ نو واٹ از مینٹ بائی کوآڈینیشن کوآڈینیشن از دا سنونس ورڈ آف کوآپریشن فیسیلیٹیشن اور کمیونیکیشن یو ول ڈیفائن ایٹ ایز اٹ از دا ایبلٹی آف آرگنزمس باڈی ٹو ہیو مور دین ون آرگنز اور پارٹس سائملٹینیسلی فنکشننگ ٹو کمپلیٹ آر پروسیس دس مین دیٹ دا ٹیشو اینڈ آرگنس ان دا باڈیز آف ملچائی سیولر آرگنزمس ڈو ناٹ ورک انڈیپینڈنٹلی آف ایچ ادر رادر دے ورک ٹوگیدر پرفارمنگ دیئر مینی ٹاسکس ایز دا نیڈ آف دا ہول باڈی ایز اے ریزلٹ آف دس ہول باڈی آف آرگنزمس ورک ایز ون یونٹ ٹو پرفارم آ اسپیسیفک ٹاسک دا بیسٹ ایگزامپل ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ دا کوآڈینیشن از رائٹنگ سم تھنگ When we are writing something, our hands and fingers work in collaboration with our muscles, eyes, thoughts, etc. How many types of coordination occur in all living organisms? So there are two types of coordination in organisms. One of those is nervous coordination that is brought about by nervous system. Nervous system comprises of brain and spinal cord. The second one is chemical coordination that is brought about by endocrine system that is the system of glands. Types of coordination on the basis of organism. In animals, as they have the nervous system, so the both type of coordination occurs in animals that is nervous and chemical coordination. In plants and other organisms like algae, fungi, as they don't have nervous system, so there is only one type of coordination that is chemical coordination, which is brought about by endocrine system. Coordination also takes place in unicellular organisms, those organisms that are made up of only one type, only one cells. The response to stimuli in the unicellular organism is brought about through chemicals. What are the components of coordinated action? A coordinated co action comprises of five components. Stimulus, receptors, coordinator, effector, and response. What is stimulus? You will define it as any change in the environment that may be internal or external to the living organism's body. that can provoke a response in an organism for example touch light heat microbial infection presence of chemicals sound waves and colds are some of the familiar examples of stimulus the second component of coordinated action is receptors receptors are the organs tissues or cells that are specifically built to detect a particular type of stimulus for example touch is detected by skin sound waves are detected by ears light is detected by eyes chemicals in the ears are detected by nose and so on third component of coordinated action is coordinators you will define it as These are those organs that receive information from receptors and send messages to particular organ. In nervous coordination, brain and spinal cords are coordinators. They receive information and send messages through neurons in the form of nerve impulses. While in the case of chemical coordination, various endocrine glands play the role of coordinators. They receive information in the form of various chemicals and send messages by secreting particular hormones in the blood. Fourth component of coordinated action is effectors. What are effectors? These are the parts of body which receive messages from coordinators and produce particular response. 
in nervous coordination neurons carry messages from coordinators that is brain and spinal cord to muscles and glands which act as effectors in chemical coordination particular hormones carry messages from coordinator and what are the coordinators of chemical coordination yes those are endocrine glands these carry messages to the particular target tissue which act as effector for some hormones nephrons act as effectors so what are nephrons nephrons are the functional and structural unit of kidneys similarly bones and liver act as effector for many other hormones the fifth component of coordinated action is response what is response on receiving messages from coordinators effector perform action this action is called response for example pulling your hand away from something very hot and the movement of flower of sunflower towards light are responses what is the difference between the response of nervous coordination and the chemical coordination in nervous coordination response is immediate but short living while on the other hand response of chemical coordination is slow but long living thanks for watching the video we will meet in the next video with the new topic till then take care of yourself and your beloved ones and don't forget to subscribe and share my channel